I would say that a fluid library deals with a, a lot simpler uh, flows. Uh, uh, the, the, the fundamental assumption of the fluid library is that the flows are piecewise constant, so they stay the same, then at a certain event it may go up and then stay on a certain level or go down. And so the flows are piecewise constant, and so the, the, the uh, tanks, the reservoirs, uh, obviously have the linear dynamics. And if you have such, uh, such dynamics, uh, you can use uh, a, uh, a lot faster and more accurate uh, solver, which is a uh, linear programming solver. And this is the one that the fluid library uses to uh, calculate the flows. Uh, compared to system dynamics. System dynamics can deal with more complicated, um, more complicated dynamics, uh, nonlinear, but uh, the uh, system dynamics uses a numeric solver with, uh, which takes, uh, which is a lot uh, less uh, fast uh, than the, the LP solver because it goes you know, with, within micro, micro um, steps in time. And also it loses precision. Uh, because the precision is, uh, depends on the size of the micro step. So it's a totally, uh, completely different technology. And whenever your flows are like what I described, it makes a lot of sense to use the fluid library and not the system dynamics. And uh, other thing is that obviously it can be uh, used not only for the actual fluids, but also for uh, uh, bulk matter such as uh, grain, for example, uh, or um, some other natural resources, and also for discrete items uh, that, uh, let's say, flow in your system in large volumes, and it doesn't make sense to model a discrete item like on this uh, picture down here, uh, to model each bottle uh, as, as an, an entity, as an agent. You can model just the quantities. So uh, these are, um, I mean, fluids, bulk, uh, bulk um, uh, cargo, bulk matter, and uh, large amounts of discrete items with linear dynamics is uh, the, uh, let's say, prerequisites of, for considering uh, using the fluid library. And we're extending fluid library in 7.3, so it'll have a couple of more blocks. So uh, just to uh, briefly show, without any explanation, just to show the um, what kind of models, uh, in this case, this, this is a manufacturing model that can be built with a fluid library. So, Nikolai, please. Well, this is a chocolate production model. Um, here, I can demonstrate you a nice three-dimensional and two-dimensional animation. Uh, of the process. On the process of chocolate production where uh, different uh, components uh, come mixed together, uh, wait uh, for some processing uh, and are split and uh, delivered to output line. If we look inside uh, the logic uh, here, you can see what's, oh, sorry, uh, fluid uh, library blocks here. Uh, they also have uh, built-in animation uh, to observe the process. And now I'll switch uh, to any logic. Uh, This is a fluid library which comes with Analogix 7.2 and uh, in 7.3 there will be uh, more blocks in this library. Uh, so um, also there is a feature when you move your mouse cursor on, onto the uh, library item, you can see the description or even open a simple demo model for this block. Uh, 